Hello and welcome back everybody to more Remnant from the Ashes. We stopped here last time, presumably gonna meet the boss here, so uh, let's see what we're up to and what we're fighting. Finding, we are at Martyr's Garden. Not a boss, maybe just ads? Oh, there is a boss. Let's welcome the shaman or whatever whatever thingy that guy is. So we are fighting the storm caller. So headshots are playing. Blow these freaking guys up. Oh yeah, I'm almost burning. I am burning, holy shit no. A little bit of right of putting it around me. It was a waste of a bolt, man. Just killed his ad. I think the spore bomb would have dealt with them much quicker, but we are good to go, peeps. Good. Go first try. Storm crystal, lumina crystals. Maybe trait? Nope. That was like a sub sub boss thingy, kinda. Not even not even a trait, just a bunch of scraps and a storm crystal. Material, powerful weapon mod. I think, as I said, probably that the Spore Bloom would have probably dealt with them better, but hey. So all is good. Crabs, Galvanized Iron. Crabs. It seems like trades always take the same, uh, like, XP, so... I think at the start it was less than 1,500, but I'm not sure anymore. I don't remember really. It's been been a bunch of hours now. At least when loading, it's at like uh, 14 hours ish. So. so we are. Oh, we are gonna. Open the back. Well, it's not a back door, but we are going to be opening our little path here. Seems like the finale of this map, but we still have something else to check out, so we gotta go there. Uh, and then I'm and I'm not quite yeah. Remember the, the little green piece? Oh. There is still something left. Check. How much do they give? Well, if I don't hit nothing up. Oh, it feels like every trash mob gives you 20 XP or trait level, whatever. I'm gonna check what the mod is. Return to Ward 13. 
And then we will continue dodging and Let's see what else we can craft, potentially something to buy. We're back at 10,000. Crap. So let's see what Ace has for us. How's it going? Galvanized iron. Take care then. I don't think we got a simulacrum. I don't think so. What I can offer you. Nope. Take care. No simulacrum for now. But actually, somewhere say how much the the dragon heart. Yeah. So yeah. tell me, what kind of mod do we get? Also, uh, for those of you I didn't really show it on video, uh, this is what I will be able to craft or, or able to craft after killing the undying king, which is a rifle, swords, and or. Storm Crystal, Storm Caller, Conjurers, an electrical storm center around the castle which unleashes lightning strikes that deal 40 shock damage to nearby enemies within 30... Within 30... Within 35 meters. Uh... Done here? Wait a bit. Also, we get galvanized iron so we can upgrade things now. I'm not in the mood for chat. Anything you need? Certainly. I don't think I can buy anything. Nope. No. I could upgrade the crossbow. I like the gun. Not lie. How much galvanized iron do I have? Can I upgrade support wound? Oh yeah, I still need to try out the spear. Totally forgot about that one. Hmm. I mean, I dig that. Wow, it needs hardened iron now. I chugged all my galvanized iron? What? Rep. Rep and pepperonis. So let's see what the spear. Keep moving. Pokes. Not much for thrusting moves. I mean, they're they're good since they're very very pinpointy, but eh, no. I don't think I'll I'll be using that. So let's travel. Return last check. Building. I think this. This is where I gotta go. Ardent Iron. Ardent Iron is the thing that says that it'll make tanks fly. So are we? Yes, we are definitely in the right way. Oh shit. Ooh! Yeah, I think the upgrade was well worth it. I would have liked to upgrade my pistol a bit. You know what, we're also gonna try... War Bloom just for shits and giggles. I wanna see how much it deals now. I mean, it deals quite considerable damage. Um, seeing that it only has like an effective range of 8 meters. That was probably like 25 or so. So it's kinda kinda ridiculous how much damage it still deals. Oh yeah. I mean the crossbow is really hit or miss. Yeah, just a oh, oh wow, that was a lot of damage. Holy shit. Blast those guys.
Obviously, it was no surprise. So, we didn't open that door. Ow! That's not enough stopping power. Problem is just fun. I think actually for normal people or enemies, uh, the crossbows had bit nicer. Oh shit. I don't have the golden plum anymore. I think I should buy another one. I think it was definitely worth the investment. I really like the fact that they let buffs run past deaths. Because it's very, very common or easy. Maybe not common, but easy in this game to get wrecked. If you would be losing like tons of scrap just by, you know, getting either cheap skated or. You know, sometimes it's just cheap shots. And sometimes you don't even. You run into a place where you've never been. Obviously, you could argue that, like, you. Uh, you should be paying attention, but. It's just sometimes you don't always see it. I literally had not a lot of health left. Woo! 1000 crit, maybe. I think for boss fights, I'll swap back to the. This is the green thing I meant, and this is where I went up the portal or thingy, so. We're on the right track, baby. Oh shit, what? Excusez-moi. Why are you hitting me, mate? Damage is still very, very nice. I like it a lot. Although the crit thing, like the the, the crit armor, with what was it? On the void, the radiant. Um, obviously you still need the head or something, but considering this, that you get two point five percent crit and damage, crit damage. Um, stacking up to 10 times is 25% more crit and 25% more crit damage, so... Oh, that'll be quite the, quite the DPS boost for rapid-fire weapons. I haven't actually found any assault rifle or submachine gun or something along those lines. But presumably you have to get something like this, otherwise the weapon would... The, the armor... Makes. Even if I if I click as fast as I can on the pistol, like what maybe five bullets, six I can squeeze in, and at least one of them has to crit. Statistically, that's possible, but we all know that's not always gonna happen. Besides that, you do actually have to hit something. Not like you just have to spam shoot. All right, more doors. Let's see. Or wow, we are in a cave. Let's definitely go to the ch checkpoint. It is, baby. Interesting. That's not gonna... Fortunately, that's only a... Look at that. Looks like some form of... Some piece of equipment. There's definitely something behind. Alright, so uh, we, gotta, we gotta find out what item to get to get past here. 
So we will visit this place. I don't wanna go to the store, but it is and then we go to the merchant and from there on we will continue oh boy map navigation is uh definitely not not something for the light-hearted in this game unless you want to take trips multiple times you probably pay a little bit of attention to where you're going travel geisha because we open the door now and just sneak through I'm really curious if there is a max level, but considering I have bazillions of traits already, like, I have what? Hey! That's not very nice, mate. That was really not nice, dude. Um, like what, 8, 12, 14 already. So maxing all of them would be 280 points. I have 80 right now. Oh, shit. Do not want to use that skill a bit. Fair enough. Seems like we'll be going through. Something hidden here. Can I actually go into the water? Seems like there could be something hidden. Why else would they allow you to walk down here? Nope, I'm not gonna. I mean, I just. Oh. Not really an issue. Alright. Might be a puzzle of some sorts. Might just really be fluff. Maybe I have to do something else. So let's go through here now. Looks like a rather big run. Presumably we're gonna be entering a dungeon first and then a boss at the end. Quite a few bosses actually. I, I wonder how many actual bosses there are. Since I could have potentially gone into one or two different locations in the labyrinth. Assuming not every portal would have sent me to the jungle. Activate that one. Let's go, my friend. We are in the Vidos Vestry. Fred, it is. Another tome. Kind of grunting. That thing is fast. Really fast. Home of knowledge. Red bones there have huh? eleven. I have like 16% crit on my pistol and uh, 30, 31. 31 on my crossbow. What the? Why is this guy running all the frickin'. Also, why does he have a repeater crossbow and... Well, they hurt quite a bit. They do hurt quite a bit.
Come on, peek. Peek. This guy. I'm just cheesing, really. Stop running, wait. Definitely want to heal up, though. Because these guys are no joke. They do hurt quite a bit. Good. Just growling everywhere. How bad of a day do they have to? See, but the mob density is not as bad as it was in the swamp, really. That that area just pains me. It does. Galvanized iron. Have everything here? With his shadow dodge. What? Holy shit, man. There's a lot of them. Sorry, bit. I get freaking snipe bait. Okay. It does have a projectile after all. Hello. Where do we go? Eight thousand. Maybe I should have bought like two to three plums. Because I think they're really, really, really nice addition to this room. Not even moving. I actually destroy his head. Very anti anti climatic. Guys with the pistol. Probably better off because they have a much better aim with a crossbow than I do. Like they're really, really good actually at aiming. It's a bit scary. Not gonna lie. I like this place though. Really need looks. Other chest. <laughs> okay, that sounded like something bigger. Explosives. That's cheating, might. I got the checkpoint. That's nice. Like I cleared this place for now. Plenty chest though. I really like it. Avenger. Scrap. Oh, scrappers. This is something that I should definitely prioritize because if I level it up, might. Well, technically, maybe, I don't know. 
experience is always worth it in uh, investing first, but scrap, it might be... I don't know if there's better options to farm scrap later on. 2.5% per level, so that's gonna be 50% more scrap. That's definitely gonna weigh down in the long run. I mean, that's 20 levels in it. Red dough. Oh man, so much to read. Okay, so it's only one side. Let's let's do a quick read of that. Those bells. I do I think this is some form of riddle that I might Boy, this is, this will take some looking at it. I don't think I'll I'll do that on video. Anyways, uh, since we got that, since we are at the checkpoint, I think this is the best way to cut it down here. So I will see you guys whenever we continue.